By far the most popular category of performance e-bikes available on the market, the draw of electric mountain bikes is thanks to the go-anywhere possibilities that such confidence-inspiring grip, suspension, performance, and powerful motor assistance offer. Liberated from some of the normal constraints of standard bike design like weight and gearing, e-bike design has exploded. More than just a mountain bike with a motor attached, electric mountain bikes are starting to break away from their analog siblings into a category of their own. Outfitted with robust temperature-efficient frames, e-bike-specific suspension and drivetrain componentry, and a slack and stable geometry, electric mountain bikes are equal parts performance and control. Where traditional mountain bikes struggle to balance the demands of descending with the need to climb back out, electric mountain bikes can make both a breeze. This is the biggest attraction to these premium-assisted steeds, and you can have all the descending confidence and control of an enduro mountain bike but in a package that laughs at those daunting climbs. But, when you're in the market for a new electric mountain bike, you'll quickly find that there are a lot of options out there with a ton of specs to compare. That's why we put together this list of the best electric mountain bikes on the market. As we've come to expect from Cube, the Stereo Hybrid 140 is consciously styled from front to back. The black and orange color scheme extends across the carbon frame to the wheels and tires. The Cube Stereo Hybrid 140 doesn't try to impress with flashier lightweight components. Instead, the spec is geared towards reliable trail performance. Even on technical climbs, the Cube is one of the best performers on test. Thanks to the relatively long chain stays and the low front end, keeping the front wheel planted is easy, despite the rear biased pedaling position. With such robust tires you can easily run lower tire pressures without the risk of punctures. Together with the suspension, they generate a lot of traction, no matter how slick the conditions. The Agile Stereo Hybrid 140 also feels comfortable on flowing, winding climbs, and is capable of changing direction playfully. Besides offering excellent value for money, the Cube Stereo Hybrid 140 gets you a thoughtfully specced bike with trail-oriented componentry, a cleverly made frame and balanced geometry. Few bikes on the market are as easy to maneuver on the trail while offering such versatility. Only for adrenaline junkies with the need for maximum speed, the Cube is not the ideal option. If you are looking for a very compressed and stable bike for the most demanding trails and all you are after is speed, the Fantec XF1 Integra Enduro 160 promises to be a good companion. As the name suggests, the Fantec XF1 Integra has a whopping 630 watt hour integrated battery. This electricity flows into the Fantec's new Bros Drive S motor, providing lots of torque and consequent propulsion. At the same time, the motor impressed us with natural feeling assistance and very good modulation. The suspension is extremely plush and super sensitive. However, the rear linkage could do with more support and feedback in mid-stroke. After only a few meters in the saddle, it becomes clear that the Fantic was not made for climbing efficiency. Climbs on well-maintained forest roads pose no problem for the Fantic, but its heart beats for the descents. Once the trail points downhill, there is no stopping the XF1. Due to the slack head angle and the very long wheelbase, it rides like it's on rails. Even the steepest slopes and nasty Strock Gardens will seem tame. Overall I think the Fantic XF1 Integra is a very good electric mountain bike with very few shortcomings. It's a great bicycle with lots of passive features that make riding off-road more enjoyable. The differing wheel size is a great feature, and I believe we'll be seeing more bikes like this in the future. For hardcore mountain bikers who want to tackle rougher trails and fly up hills to reach their favorite descents faster, Rail is an aggressive e-mountain bike that adds the power to do more. An all-new Bosch Performance CX system powers your ride. The new motor is lighter and smaller than previous versions, which allows for cleaner frame integration and shorter chain stays for more nimble handling. It's also more efficient, so you can go farther on a single battery charge. 
Choose from three assist levels or use the intelligent EMTB mode to automatically adjust the assist to match your own effort. That makes it easier to stay in control at low speeds, like while navigating uphill corners, where just a little boost is best. The 625 watt-hour battery found on most rail models provides the best range available. The removable battery comes out of the side of the down tube, so it's compatible with a water bottle cage and it's convenient to remove for transport or just easier charging. More power means harder riding. So Rail has parts optimized for EMTB use. Each model features 150 mm of rear suspension travel and a 160 mm fork with beefier legs that won't flex. Shocks on select models use a reactive with through shaft damper that reacts faster than other shocks to float over chattery bumps and provide amazing traction in rough corners. All models feature 29 by 2.6 inch tires on wide rims that roll fast and give extra grip so you can make the most of the additional power from the motor. Four piston hydraulic brakes are stronger than standard brakes. And with the 12 speed drivetrain, you can always find the right gear for a smooth pedal stroke, which helps the motor deliver more consistent power. Rail gives you the same sure-footed handling as the rest of our trail bikes because it's made with the same frame technology, like ABP and Minolink. The straight shot down tube makes the frame super stiff. It doesn't flex under the added weight of the motor and battery, so you can charge the hardest lines knowing Rail has your back. With Bosch's latest drive system, a rowdy long travel frame, and parts made to shred, Rail is perfect for any mountain biker who wants more stoke on more trails. The decoy is built as a downhill as e-bike. It totally delivers on this, and not just by packing plenty of travel. In fact, despite the 165mm of rear bounce, the V4L suspension remains taut and efficient. This combined with the light, stiff carbon chassis, ensures the decoy is very nimble for an electric mountain bike. The DH Assurance stems from good angles, well-damped suspension and a low rider position, which work together to encourage attack-heavy riding. The decoy then has a balanced, ground-hugging feel, where rider weight is always centered, and there's never any danger of being pitched too far forward on steep tech, so you can hammer downhill with maximum confidence. With its mullet bike setup, the smaller back wheel cuts a tight arc through corners, which can make the front tire understeer in the apex of the turn. By bouncing off the supportive suspension, you can change direction rapidly, and the decoy's ability to dart from side to side on the trail is addictive. One flip side of this tautness is that the bike can feel less comfortable than others over big hits and root webs. Along with its downhill capability, the decoy climbs admirably too. The saddle and cranks are well positioned, and the mid-stroke is supportive. Add the fact that it eats up bendy single track without boring you, and it's a brilliant all-rounder. Today we're here to talk about the all-new 2020 Genius E-Ride. The Genius E-Ride offers 150 millimeters of suspension front and rear, which puts it right in our trail bike category. For the Genius E-Ride, frame construction has been completely rethought to meet the needs of a modern trail-focused e-bike. The Genius E-Ride features a unique double shell battery housing that allows us to reduce thickness and weight while still maintaining down tube stiffness. This results in a more precise bike in straight lines while still remaining agile in corners. In addition, this design allows us to make internal cable routing nice and tidy. Now, let's take a look at the battery. Thanks to our range booster technology, the Genius E-Ride has an industry-leading battery capacity of 1,125 watt-hours. So, what is a watt-hour? It's a measure of electrical energy equivalent to a power consumption, about one watt per one hour. So in other terms, how much energy is in the battery? Let's take a closer look at how our new range booster technology works. So first, you have a 625 watt hour battery in the down tube. On top of the down tube is a battery holder where you can then mount an extra 500 watt hour battery 
When you connect these two batteries effectively, they act as one, resulting in 1,125 watt hours of battery capacity. The Range Booster add-on is available for both carbon and alloy models of the Genius E-Ride. Moving to the motor, the Genius E-Ride features the all-new Bosch Performance CX Generation 4. This motor has a maximum power output of 75 newton meters, which is about 340% of your own power. Moving to the display, you can choose between four different modes or opt for the comfort of the EMTB mode. This mode automatically adapts for a natural feeling assist. EMTB mode is heavily dependent on a speed sensor, which in this case is cleverly integrated into the frame. This means that speed readings are consistent, unlike with other systems where speed sensors are integrated on the wheel. As with many of our products at Scott, design and integration is just as important on the Genius E-Ride. The bike features several custom down tube protectors, and these are here for more than just aesthetic reasons. Not only do they protect the motor and the battery, but well-placed vents drive air to keep things cool. As with our non-motorized bikes, you can also choose to ride this bike with either 27 and a half inch or 29 inch wheels. All you have to do is flip a chip on the linkage to change BB height, swap wheels, and you're good to go. Should you happen to come off your mountain bike while riding it, we've integrated a Syncross fork stop headset, which will keep your four crowns from hitting your down tube. Let's take a look at the bike's suspension. Ultimately, we want e-bikes to be fun. Just because a bike has a battery on it doesn't mean that ride quality should suffer. We want our e-bike suspension to work just as well as that of our normal bikes. It is with that in mind that the suspension layout of our Genius E-Ride was chosen. Using our virtual four-link kinematic, the Genius E-Ride, similar to its non-motorized version, can get you up the most technical of climbs and back down the mountain with the best of them. We work closely with our suspension partners to optimize suspension tune and ride characteristics. The Genius E-Ride features our patented twin-lock suspension system. This allows you to change the bike's suspension characteristics and geometry for climbing, descending, and everything in between, all with the flick of a handlebar-mounted switch. Thank you.